this is the new idea I have. Uh, here's a motor. Put M for motor. And your motor shaft. And it has some type of gear type thing. Or maybe even a wheel. Like, uh, like a spool. Um, spool type thing. Let's put a spool instead. A spool. And the spool winds up a elastic wire or string, elastic string when the motor turns and then it pulls the diaphragm and the diaphragm uh, works as a piston when it's let go but uh, for now I'm going to explain that the motor is turned on to wind up the spool of elastic to pull the diaphragm and then when it's fully wound it up then it's locked in place by some mechanism and then the motor shuts off electrically and then the, the same wires that are used for to power it has a, are also plugged into a separate uh, connection have the same two connections on the same wires just uh, once turned off during the electrical surge to turn the motor and then the motor is used as a generator on the other other uh, end of the wires um, the other side the other connection to this these wires from the motor um, so you get power here and then there's power in here um, but when the, when the elastic lets go because the diaphragm is pulling on the elastic spool, then it turns the motor and makes power, which you put into it, and then you use your air to uh, turn maybe a turbine or something something that uses air to push. Then I thought maybe I could also make a... Uh, kind of like a heat engine out of it so use a solar array heat up this big area and then maybe put a cold chamber or you could have it just all hot um, and use the hot air to turn a turbine with more pressure using that same motor trick maybe um, Maybe it doesn't have to be a spool. Maybe the motor could just pull the diaphragm back and forth. And then the hot air will have pressure inside and push a piston uh, back and forth. Um, so those are my I rough ideas. Thanks for watching.